A famous virologist in China is sleeping outside of his laboratory, so he will not get evicted. This news is going so viral on the Chinese internet because the scientist Dr. Zhang Yongzhen is the first person who published the COVID-19 genome sequence. Through his sharing, the entire world could start making COVID vaccine as soon as possible. And now, this famous scientist ended up in a pile of sheets right in front of his laboratory about to get evicted. I'm going to translate some of the news for you guys because it is very dramatic. Hello, my science friends. Welcome to my channel. I am a scientific illustrator. My name is John. Usually I post tutorials on this channel, but I am also covering science drama on the internet because these videos get more views than my tutorials. You can support me by giving me likes, subscribe to the channel and share my videos. So more scientists can know I'm helping them to make professional figures through this channel. Let's get back to the show. Dr. Zhang Yongzhen is one of the most distinguished scientists in the world. He was named as one of the 10 people who helped shape science in 2020 by the journal Nature. Nature titled him the genome sharer because he and his team posted coronavirus RNA sequence online before anyone else. Dr. John received the sample of the coronavirus on the 3rd of January 2020 at the very beginning of the pandemic. And on the same day, the Chinese government circulate an order to forbid local authorities and labs from public information about the virus. They were trying to contain the information. After 40 hours, Dr. John and his team managed to sequence the virus and he immediately uploaded the data to NCBI, which is one of the most important biomedical database in the world. While he was waiting for the reviewer's response, he traveled to Wuhan, the epicenter. From what he saw, he started to consider maybe he should release the sequence because the situation is quite dire. He discussed this with his Australian colleague. In the end, they made the decision that they should publish this data as soon as possible. Then his Australian colleague published it on virological.org. Then the rest is history. Within a few days, entire world start producing vaccine to combat coronavirus. In the meantime, Dr. John's team received a government ratification order and was temporarily unable to study the virus. They did solve the dispute. The visiting official correctly told his lab to update his biosafety protocol after he had moved the equipment during construction work. He already had some conflicts with the authority back in 2020, and the same problem seems to transpire bigger to 2024 as of last week. Dr. John made a post on his Weibo, which is the Chinese Twitter, on the 30th of April of a photo of him in a pile of sheets laying on his back right in front of the entrance of his lab. There are four security guards surrounding him, which is not for his security, but for the security of the department. The caption of the post is another abnormal night. Thank God there is no rain as last evening. I'm very grateful for my students, for their companionship, and of course, there are more securities. This is from a different angle. This is one of the students who is there to guard their professor. It is quite touching that his students are on his side. This shows that he's a good boss. Five hours after this, he tweeted, another cold night have passed. Staying on the ground in front of the door until dawn. It's quite poetic. This is a real protest from the professor. And then he tweeted some morning photos. Good morning, everybody. Many thanks for my students taking terms to guard me throughout the night. There were many security guards speaking loudly and watching videos. That is very disturbing. He even hashtag another brand new day has begun. <laughs> he knows how to make a show. He knows how to advocate for himself. This is a close up of the view. They took a few more photos from the distance to show us that there are even more security guards. I find it really adorable. They use a cat face to censor the license plates. Almost 10 security guards just to keep an eye on the professor. This is really intense and he's gathering a lot of tension from the public. Here's a statement from Professor John. So these are addressed to Secretary Fan. Secretary is a title of the Communist Party. So this is not a secretary to a CEO, but an actual leader of the research center. Professor John has four questions. 
Quote, even though my contract with the public health center has ended in 2023, but one of my staff had renewed the contract with the center in order to continue our research project since 2021. And this research project is still in progress. If this is the case, why do you claim that we are occupying this space as a deal onto the department? Question two. The department has made a statement and on the 29th morning, I have arranged another laboratory for Dr. John's team. This contradicts with secretary's claim. If you are going to evict us, why are you providing us a new location? According to the contract I signed in 2018, the team has outperformed in the five year period, but we have not received the research budget of 3.5 million yen for two consecutive years. We also have not received the award from our outstanding papers. So how are we going to settle these payments? Question four, is my file at the public health center or at the CDC? My team have sufficient evidence. We highly recommend Secretary Fan do not start any rumor. I also want to invite relevant departments to get involved with the investigation, to offer us justice and to offer the world the truth. These are very strong words. So we can see the core problem is the research space. It seems that they have a different understanding of the employment of Professor John. So things get very messy. Somehow the research center really want the space back. Let's take a look at what secretary would reply on this situation. Here's the official statement from the Public Health Research Center. Recently, our department want to renovate some of the laboratories for safety reasons. We closed the labs for constructions. And we have find an alternative office and laboratory space for Dr. John's research team and we have informed Dr. John in advance. We are going to make an appropriate arrangement for the researchers and our department is always very respectful to the scientific researchers. Dr. John made some counterpoints onto the statement via Weibo. Quote, first, the research center made an emergency meeting last Thursday and only used one minute to announce that they want a renovation for the P3 laboratory and order us to move within two days. We have no idea where we should move to. And when we further inquire, there were no response from the management. Point two, on Friday, our postdoc to further inquire the relocation. It turns out they want us to move to another laboratory in another building. However, that laboratory does not have equipments that can comply with the P2 laboratory, which is essential for our pathogen samples. Point three, after the department shut down our lab, we have inquired the management again, but they had no additional proposal for the relocation. The statement says they are going to deal with the situation appropriately, but we are not able to enter our laboratory to finish ongoing experiments and we are not able to pick up our personal belongings. Point five. It was raining last evening and the Public Health Research Center does not allow me nor my student to enter the building to hide from the rain. I have laid in front of the gate the entire night. This is how the Public Health Center behaves, extremely inhumane. I have seen they allow pedestrians to go into the building, but not for us. This reflects the character of the leadership of the center. <laughs> he is really good at making a protest. It seems that he's really passionate about keeping his lab. And he has a lot of conviction in saving his lab. Okay, so here's a photo of him and four of his students. It's quite amazing his students are all on board on his side. I think he has done a really good job or being an educator, so the students will support him. If he's a horrible boss, then nobody would be there. These type of conflicts actually happen in academia a lot. Professors often need to compete for spaces in the institution. Uh, this can be a source of a lot of arguments. It seems that this is one of the case. 
the research center really want the space back. And Dr. Zhang want to keep his space because a lot, most likely for research reasons, because a lot of his samples are there. It is difficult to relocate all these pathogen samples. There's a lot of risk in moving these samples. Often people are a little bit naive about the office politic in academia. Things can go really bad when there is a conflict of interest between the colleagues, also the researcher and the management. In the case of Dr. John, it really blows up to the public space and we get to see the whole drama unfold. But this drama has a happy ending. Dr. John has posted a thankful note to the friends on the internet for their support and considerations. After negotiating with the leadership, they have agreed to recover our normal scientific research activity. The team member can now enter our labs freely. We will continue to negotiate with the leadership about the relocation plan of my lab, a transition period of my students and employees, and completing the two unfinished research projects. Once again, I offer my sincere gratitude to the people who have supported me and my team and the friends on the internet. And many thanks to my students. Oh, that's quite moving. That he has such a great relationship with his students that all of them are there for him to protect him from the security guards. It's, uh, I'm getting a little bit emotional because you know, good bosses are very rare and I'm really happy that they can enter their lab again, which is the most important thing for any scientist. I talk about these exciting events on my channel. Give a like, subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with these drama and I will see you again next week.